okay, this is a beginner's tutorial and we're going to learn a lot about the tools, especially the drawing tools in Adobe Flash CS5. And in doing that, I'm going to show you how to draw an apple like this one and how to get a nice vector graphics uh, apple with a slightly realistic look to it. And you can see with these apples, if I click on them, they're actually movie clips. If I select it, it's got a blue box. And if you look up here in the property window, it says movie clip. So the advantage to that is I'll show you how to make it into a movie clip. And then in the library, you could take, you can open up your library and you could drag it out and then use it and reuse it multiple times throughout your animation or your movie. So reusable assets, right? You reusable graphics. So I'm going to show you how to create an apple like this in Flash. All right, I'll open a new file, File New, Action Script 3 here, and click OK. And now I've got a blank file to work from. Now, a little bit about these drawing tools. There's many ways you could draw this apple. You could take the pencil, for instance, and you could draw the apple. And when you take the, and use the pencil, you'll want to adjust this um, pencil mode, either straighten the lines, smooth the lines, or ink mode, which tries to be as realistic as possible to the motion of the um, mouse cursor. So if I do smooth, I could take this and I could just draw a vector graphics apple. Boy, that's a good apple. Using my laptop here, um, I could just draw that vector graphics apple with the pencil tool here. And then afterwards, what I could do is get my select tool and I could then bend these lines by just approaching the edges and then pulling them into position. And you can see that if I played with it long enough, I might be able to get an apple. You can see it's getting a little wobbly here and it's not that nice. So if I want to have more control over this apple and I, and I don't want to spend a lot of time um, messing with this, I could use the pen tool, which I'll be showing you about. The pen tool is located right here. Another thing I could do is I could select this line now and then I could go down here with the select tool and you'll see there's a button here called smooth and straighten. If I click smooth, it will create a smoother vector path and it'll simplify the path and then I'll get rid of some of the other problems in the apple and then it'll be a lot easier to um, modify it by just pulling on the line on the stroke and modifying it. So that would be a better apple. And so once again I just double clicked on the line and then clicked the smooth button. I've got the select tool. If you want more control of your line, what you'll want to do is use the pen tool. So I've got the pen tool here. And the way the pen tool works is it works by creating anchor points and making Bezier curves. So what I would do is I would do something like this. I would click and then click and drag to make a curve. And then I would go to the other end of my curve here and click and drag and then click and drag. And you could see how it would take a little, it takes a little getting used to, to working with the pen tool. If you've never used one before, the pen tool is um, uh, made famous by uh, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and uh, it's you know it's the, one of the main tools for drawing vector shapes in Adobe Illustrator, and it's also one of the main drawing tools here for Flash. It's been around a long time. And uh, it's a very handy tool for creating very clean lines and paths. All right. When you're done, you can see I just clicked on the last anchor point. I call these little anchor points and clicked on the last anchor point to close my line off. And now, once you're finished, you just go to your select tool and you'll see that it'll turn into a line. Now, it takes a long time to get good at using the pen tool. It takes a lot of practice. Um, I find that a lot of people have a hard time using it. Um, I myself have a hard time using it. Uh, I have to work at it and practice with it quite a bit. And so you see I don't have a perfect apple here. But I've got something that's decent to work with and if I wanted to I can zoom in here, my zoom tool, and fix this little problem here. So I'll just zoom in and I'll select that little extra piece here, or I will drag that like that, see if I can delete that piece right there. 
Perfect. All right, that's good. Appreciate that. I'm going to zoom out by hitting Control minus on my keyboard. So there is my um, apple. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to uh, color this apple. Before we move on and color this apple, I wanted to spend a little more time on the pen tool and its various um, sub-tools that you can use to modify um, vector lines uh, in Flash. So if I take that pen tool again, there's the pen tool right here. I can also, instead of clicking and dragging, I can just, let's say, create a rectangle or a polygon by just click, 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 and it's creating a line as I go, and then I close the line by clicking on that first anchor point, and now I've got a rectangle or a polygon. So now I'll deselect by clicking on the selection tool, and you'll see now it's just a, it's a, um, it's a square, basically, or a rectangle. And I can click on this line, or this line, or this line, or double click and select all of them. But what if I want those anchor points again, and I want to play with the anchor points? Well, what you would use then is the sub-selection tool. So if I get the sub-selection tool and I click on this, you'll see there are the anchor points. I can click on this one, there are the anchor points there are the anchor points. And see, so you can see each anchor point along the way. If I want to get rid of an anchor point, I'll click and say, get the delete anchor point tool. And if I just click here, it will get rid of that anchor point. All right, control Z to undo. Um, also, I'll show you here, I could, uh, once again, sub selection tool, and then get the delete anchor point tool, and I could easily turn this into a triangle. Okay, now the other thing I could do is, I can start playing, well, what, what will happen if I do things like this? So if with the sub-selection tool, if I grab this anchor point and pull, you'll see that I can modify and move the position of the anchor points. That's pretty handy. Also, what if I wanted to turn this into a curve or work on a curve, for instance? What I could do is grab the Convert Anchor Point tool and click on this anchor point here and then pull, and then I could actually create a curve. So I can actually play with that, and I can grab these little other handlebars on the end, and I can move those too. So I can move half of the curve, and I could take this curve and move that back into position right on top. And so now I've got a curve coming out here, and I can just adjust it with this one anchor point. Now, the best way to learn how to use the pen tool and its various subcategory tools and the sub-selection tool is to play with it.